All right, people, we just going to make it short and sweet. Fuck the Falcons. I can't do this another year. I can't do this anymore. I don't understand what the team is doing. I swear we was up 17-0 to at one point in this game. I swear we were. Everything's looking good. Pinning our ears back. Playing defense. Everything's great. 17-0 to up. Then the next thing you know, they scored 20, what, 20 unanswered points? 20 unanswered points. 20. What the fuck, Dad? What are you doing? Like, y'all, uh, I can understand if the, if the spots where we have turnovers are spots where you should have turnovers. At the end of the game, we still had a chance to at least tie it or go it into overtime or at least hand the ball off and possibly, you know, get a touchdown or something. Third and three, you throw it to Austin Hooper. Cool. You know what I mean? We, we, get, the, we, we get that. That's fine. The next play, we go back to Hooper and the ball gets picked off. Now, I ain't, look, some of these interceptions, if Matt, I don't know how many interceptions Matt Ryan has this year. If he has five, Four of them are on, on his on his uh, receivers. Because these guys can't fucking catch. If the name ain't Julio Jones, they can't fucking catch. So the only thing that he can do is force it in there with eight niggas on Julio. That's it. If we want to complete a pass, he got to throw the fucking ball to Julio. You got niggas that's playing that just came off the street. Some dude scored a touchdown today off the goddamn practice squad. That means that this dude is literally two weeks away from being me. This motherfucker could have been me. I could have gone down to the stadium and scored today. That's it. That's. And then who we lost to? Jay fucking Cutler. I have had a disdain because I don't like to say hate. You don't, you don't hate nobody. I don't know the man. I have had a disdain for Jay Cutler since I was at the University of South Carolina and his bitch ass was at Vanderbilt. I have not liked him ever since then because he has, has that smug-ass privileged look on his face like he's supposed to be there when they pulled his ass off the street like eight weeks ago because goddamn Teddy Hill got hurt. How are we losing to teams like this? Like, I can see if we never had the lead and they just came out there and blew doors. Hey, you come in, you go in, you, you fight to the end, and then you get ready for the next one. But when you're losing games because coaches can't fucking coach, and players can't catch. Like, what the fuck is going Why do they still have jobs if they can't catch? Oh, my God. Why? Why do you still have a fucking job in the NFL when you can't catch? The man can throw the ball. He put it right in there. I was talking to my dog, Juice Juice, like, hey, you know, dude made a good defensive play. Fuck his defensive play. This man came across the middle. The ball hit Hooper in the fucking hands. What did they tell you? If they hit it, if it hits you in the hands, you should catch the ball. Why didn't he catch it? I don't know. You know what? Fuck it. Maybe y'all watching a different game than me. Let's take on some stats, man. Let's see how many interceptions this guy has. Because like I said, man, if he got five, four of them are on. Uh, you know what? Whatever, man. I, I don't understand this. Let's see. Falcons. Dolphins box score. This is what I want to know. Were we upset? Yes. We went into the second half up 17 to shit. Went into the second half up 17 to nothing. Driving the ball. Even when we got down there at the end of the game, it's just like the Super Bowl. It's just like when we played against, against Buffalo two weeks ago. They threw the damn interception to pick six at the end of the first fucking half or whatever. Like, why were we even throwing the ball? You should have just handed the bitch to damn Freeman. Do y'all not, why y'all that afraid, afraid of having to pay Freeman and Coleman that y'all gonna damn sit here and sabotage the whole season? Dude, if you're calling plays like this, you're not fit to be anybody's coach. I'm sorry. If you're calling play, they don't even run the ball once. On the last drive, they might have ran it once on the last drive, but I'm talking about when they got that first down. We had two timeouts left. Why not 
Just hand the ball to Freeman and see what he can get. I understand that the Dolphins have a top defense in the league. I understand that they that, that they had stopped them or stifled us in the second half to that point. But still, we set them out in the first half. You didn't see them just pack the motherfucker up and say, we're not going to play no more. We're not going to throw the ball to Landry no more because he don't got no catches in the first half. We're not going to get a ball to Ajayi because Ajayi hadn't really been doing anything. I think Ajayi had like 130 goddamn yards in the second half or something. He had 130 yards. I wish we could get, hold on, can, can, we, can, can I get the damn, the, 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 the totals by quarter? I don't even know how to do it. I don't even care. Ajayi had 130 some odd yards. They couldn't stop him. The defense could not stop him. I don't care about that because the offense is supposed to be one of the best offenses in the league and we can't fucking score. Why? Because y'all keep calling dumbass pass plays in the most predictable situations. You run the ball on goddamn third and one or second and second and three, second, all that stuff. You don't go play action on play action downs. We don't, we, we, we don't pass on running down or try to flip it over and do something like that. No, we call the most predictable fucking plays on the planet. Now, somebody probably going to come in the comments and be like, no, no, uh, there was one time when it was when it was first and six or, or second and six, and they actually ran the ball and got, bitch, well, why didn't they do that shit at the end of the game when it was first and ten from, like, the, from well inside, whatever the fuck, whatever y'all allow them all, I think it was like the 20, 28 or the 30, something like that. Well inside. Well inside of Matt Bryant's range. If Matt Ryan threw the interception before we got in the field goal range, it would be acceptable. I would just be like, whatever. We're trying to get downfield, but why on God's green earth are we still throwing the fucking football when we're in field goal range? You get a ball to the fucking running back three times, just like in the Super Bowl. Sarkeesian, you ain't no better than that bitch-ass Shanahan. Get a ball to the fucking running back three times. If he can't get it, kick the field goal, we go to overtime. If we lose in overtime, we lose in overtime. Why the hell are you calling a passing play? If Hooper catches the ball, it's still a bad play to me. Why the hell are we throwing the ball? That's all I'm thinking. Why are you throwing the ball short of the end zone? Why? Why you call a play when nobody went to the end zone? Maybe Julio had eight people on him, but there were definitely two people on Hooper. I don't know why Matt don't throw it at his feet. I don't know. But the ball hit Hooper in the hands. He should have caught the motherfucker. I don't care, dog. I'm done with these motherfuckers right here. I'm getting too old for this shit. These motherfuckers. I'm done. Anybody other than the goddamn lacrosse team, because they can win a championship. The fucking lacrosse team can win something. Who the hell care about a fucking lacrosse championship? I know they do. Hats off to them fellas. But outside of Atlanta, Atlanta United FC and outside of the lacrosse team, what, what's the lacrosse team saying? Let, let's find out. At Atlanta to lacrosse team. Because I'm pretty sure they won. Yeah, the Atlanta Blaze. Outside of the fucking lacrosse team and outside of the damn uh, Atlanta United FC, I got nothing left for you. I done gave too much tears and too much of my heart trembling, beating like I done drank a, six, a, a 612 case of Mountain Dew. I'm tired of that shit. I can't do it no more. So I'm not watching any more Falcons games this year Fuck the Falcons. Fuck the Braves. Fuck the Hawks. Motherfuck the Hawks. Because them niggas is trash, and they ain't going to never be about shit. You can't even keep Dwight Howard and this nigga from here. Like, get real, man. Atlanta sports will never be anything other than a bunch of fucking shoulda beens. And fuck the Bulldogs, because all they're going to do is get our damn hopes up, get them up, get them up, get them up, and they're going to blow it. Y'all niggas will not be playing on December 8th. I guarantee it. Whatever the SEC championship game is, y'all niggas will not be playing then. I hope you do. I really hope y'all do. Y'all having a good season. I get my hopes up for Georgia football so many years. But I, it just gets blown every time. It gets blown every time. God damn, I'm tired of this shit. Them niggas find a way.
way to blow it every fucking time. You got Sony Michelle and Nick Tubb. All you got to do is hand that shit to them the whole game. You want me to come down there? I'll hand it to them. It's just like with the Falcons. You got Coleman and you got, got you know what, let me get off of this, man. My voice gone. You got Coleman, you got Freeman. Turn the fuck around and hand it to him. If you need me to come down there, I'll come down there and hand it to him, dog. Because I'm sick of this shit. I'm really tired of this shit. I want to know what the reason for not... Like, I'm tired of these coaches saying, we're going to do this, we're going to come out in this look and do this, and look how smart I am because I outsmart. Sometimes it ain't much more to football than hand the ball to the damn bell cow who been getting you work all day. How, how, how well had Freeman done to that point? Maybe Freeman hadn't done shit. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see how many rushing yards we had combined. Rushing yards. Devontae Freeman had 68. Tevin Coleman had 32. Nine fucking rushes. We ran the ball 18 times that game and botched it because of the botched ass punt. These motherfuckers ran the ball 30 fucking times and they were losing. How the fuck did we run the ball 18? How the fuck we ran the ball 18 times and we winning the fucking game and they're losing and they ran it 30? What the fuck? How? We're winning the game. We ran it 18 times. They ran it 30 times and they were losing the most of the fucking game. Fuck this shit, man. I'm done. I'm done. Back to the strategy session of what we can do. I don't know what we can do. But if a team is losing, <laughs> if a team is losing and they can run the ball 30 times, why do we only run at 18? Devontae Freeman was averaging 7.6 a carry. Tevin Coleman averaging 3.6. Jay Ajayi? Averaging five yards. Continuing to run the ball was good enough for them. But not for these guys right here. Where the hell this shit at? Hold on. These guys right here. Continuing to run the ball. It's not good enough for them. They're not going to continue to run the ball. 18 times. I don't count the Matt Bosher because that's a botch thing. That's not a rush. 18 times they ran the ball. Averaging. Let's see what they're averaging. Let's just see. Give me my damn. I don't feel like this right now. It's, it's over five yards to carry because 7.6 7 plus what? 3.6. They had the same number of carries. So, so 7.6 plus 3.6 equals, divide that by 2, 5.6 yards to carry. Jay Ajayi averaged 5 yards to carry. It was good enough for him to run it 26 times. But us? Oh, no, 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 no. 18 times, and we were winning the game. I ain't got nothing else to say, man. Like I said, somebody can probably pick through my comments, pick through what I said, and probably be like, you know what, all these other reasons, but at the end of it all, you up 17 points. I wish I could look at the rushes. If I could look at the stats by quarter. Let's see. Foul. No. Like, can I look at the stats by quarter? Stats by, by quarter. Can, can we look at the stats by quarter? I want to see the stats by quarter. If I can see the stats by quarter, that would be great. I don't have enough time, though. This video over with, man. Fuck this game. Fuck this team. I really got I really got nothing for them left. I can't understand this. You know? I don't understand why we don't appear to be able to adhere to basic football rules. When you're winning, run the ball and play defense. That's all. I mean, it really is what it is, right? It really just is what it is. I don't care, man. I'm done. I won't be going to no Falcons games for the foreseeable future unless somebody give me some tickets. 
I know they ain't gonna invite me to the stadium, so we're not worried about that. Devontae fight. Devontae and Coleman might fuck with me. Matt might fuck with me. But the rest of the team and the coaching staff, they're not going to fuck with me. It ain't Matt Ryan fault. I'll tell you that right now. The receivers need to catch the fucking ball. And Sarkeesian needs to call plays to give the fucking ball to the running backs. Sometimes, at least. Hand the ball to them three times. We kick the field goal. We go into overtime. Nine times out of ten, we're going to get it. We're going to come down and score. And that's the game. That's all to it. I'm sorry I wasted y'all's time. I'm sorry that the Falcons wasted your fucking time today. Thinking we gonna win, thinking we gonna win this bitch. I mean, you know. It is what it is, man. I, I can't find the stats by quarter, so it is, really, it is what it is. I really wish I could find the stats by quarter, but I can't. So, I'm going to holler at y'all. 17-0, to zero, and they scored. 20 unanswered in the second half and we didn't run the ball. I bet we didn't run the ball five times in the second half. I bet we didn't. Up 17-0, to I guarantee we didn't run the ball five times in the second half. We might have. I don't fucking know. If you got the stats, let me know down in the comments how many times we ran the second half. I'm gone. Bye.